Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. Today's video I'm very excited to do, but I'm also a little nervous because I want it to be received in the right way. So today's video is my two cents, the good, the bad, and the city on the most popular candle brands. So today we're gonna to talk about Goose Creek, Bath and Body Works, Kringle, and Homeworks. Now, what I wanna say, a little disclaimer at the beginning is these are just my thoughts, my thoughts alone. This is from my experience for the last month, doing a few tests and things on some of these candles. Um, I gained nothing from doing this. This is just for my own fun. I wanted to make a fun video. I do not know if anyone has made this video before. I didn't like even search for it. So if someone has, I hope that my video doesn't sound anything like theirs, but if it does, that means that we had a similar experience. Um, and if it doesn't, and someone has said something different, that means we had a different experience. So I just wanna talk about in the comments, were your experiences similar to mine or completely different? Because I think it's just a fun conversation to have. We all love candles here. We all love home fragrance. Um, we've all had experiences from all the brands that are good, bad, and maybe a little sooty. So that's pretty much all that this video is about. This is not to diss, to rank the brands, to say what you should buy. That's your money, that's your choice. I really just hope it's informative and helpful. And again, remember, I am not and never have said that I have a fragrance background. Um, I am an average candle enthusiast. I have been buying candles, Bath and Body Works candles since like 2015, 2016, 2017. Probably not collecting until about 2017. Um, before I would just buy a few, I was like a poor college student and burn them as I went and never knew when I had a gem. But I love, I've always loved the, can the candle community here. I've watched um, Kent for years, Bryn for years. Um, and then this last couple of years, I found so many of you guys that support my channel and I support you guys. So again, this is not to say that if my comments or the way that my experience went was different than someone else, that they're right or they're wrong and I'm right. That's not what I'm doing at all. Um, <clears throat> I just thought I would share kind of like my generalized feelings on each of the brand because I'm a, a person that can find the good in anything. And also I feel like I'm pretty observant so I can find things that I critique. So we're just going to start in. And again, if this is just a mess of a video, you'll never seen it. And if it were, turns out, I really hope it's well received. So we're going to start with Goose Creek, not for any particular reason. I have pulled a few of my favorites. I thought that would be also a fun part to add to this video, just sharing my favorites, kind of what hooked me into the brand scent wise. Um, so the first candle that really hooked me in before I had bought it, I had purchased a few times, nothing fell into a love was Caramel Apple Lane. Now you guys know, Wicked Apple is one of my favorite candles. I love Caramel Apple scent. So this has notes of crisp apple, caramel, and cinnamon. This is very like the Caramel Apple Sucker from Charms, but also like you're eating it outdoors and you can smell the leaves rustling. Also, it would kind of be compared to getting a Caramel Apple that was fresh dipped at an apple orchard where you can kind of smell the trees and the apples. It's very unique. And that's kind of where I wanted to start. So. I'm going to do what I like, what I don't like. And there, this is not all inclusive. So you can add those thoughts down below and we'll make it even better because I really do hope that you read other people's comments. You all know your stuff. So read the other um, comments as well when you're going to comment on this video. But so what do I like about Goose Creek? So I like the strength of their candles. For me, for the most part, I do get a throw. Um, and I'm not sure if it's the amount of fragrance oil that they put in their candle that makes them seem to have a stronger throw than most. And I'm talking about scents across the board. I think their vanilla scents are quite strong. I think their gourmand scents are quite strong. I find that their um, aromatherapy candles are quite strong. The cereal collection that you guys know I've loved. But I really do enjoy these when I'm not looking at these candles. I can smell them lingering. They're, they're projecting. Um, so I do feel like, not in comparison to the other brands, but overall their, their strength projection is quite high. However, when you look at this candle burning and putting off all of that scent, you're seeing it put off something else in quite a few um, cases. Now, not every case. I will say I'm at about the 50-50 mark, but I have not been buying from Goose Creek for more than these last two years. So I don't know what happened before then, and I know that some people have bought candles, let them sit for two years, and they're now burning them and having pretty bad experiences. 
I prob I agree that probably happens. I have never collected the brand, so I've pretty much burned as I've gotten them. So they haven't really sat around for too long. Now this is probably the oldest of my Goose Creek candles and I bought it just because I loved it. I wanted to back up. So this is the only one that I would say is in the collection for a keepsake, but it is a very nice strong scent on cold and that does translate into its burn. So the bad is the soot. Now I don't believe this one in particular did soot terribly for me, but I'd have to go back to that review. I do think there's always a little bit, but that's just it. There's a little bit with almost every candle brand. So I don't say that's just a Goose Creek problem. What I don't love is that Goose Creek doesn't seem to take that feedback and change their product in any way. Um, you know, I, I feel like I've heard a lot of people say that they had reviews that they've written and they never saw the light of day, which was just an authentic review about the problems with the candle. That I don't like at all. That I've never done. I've done I'm going to be honest, I'm very bad about ever write, writing reviews and leaving them on sites. Like, that's just never been my thing. It's never, I like talking about them on here, but I just have never felt the need for me to just go to the site and write. And I think it's important. That's how they get their feedback too, but they're not listening to the feedback. So that is kind of, it's a, something I don't like. Um, I just recently learned about their return policy, which is something I like that if you don't like it, they will at least give you a credit or, so that's good because again, you don't have a brick and mortar store. There's one, I think, but like for most people that are ordering from Goose Creek, you don't have a store to return them to. So I know for myself, I thought I was just stuck with candles that performed badly or I didn't like the scent of, but that's not the case. You can actually call and they will do an exchange with you in some form or fashion, either refund your money. I don't know that they asked for the candles back because I've never done it, but I have had a broken candle and there was no questions asked. They just sent me out a new one and $5 for my trouble. So they also have good sales all the time. Um, I just don't think there's a day that goes by that the candles aren't significantly cheaper than most other brands. Um, again, quality does factor into your price, but you get to try this brand for a very affordable price. Um, there also is an ambassador program, which I'm not a part of any ambassador programs, but um, I know that you can sign up for it or they, you know, some of the bigger influencers, they contact them. That's a nice perk because again, they're willing to send their products out to be reviewed. I think that's a good thing. Um, also that um, you can burn Goose Creek, not the longest. There is a candle company that has a beat them <laughs> for sure, but you can burn them for quite a long time. And if you're not seeing the outwardly sooty part of the candle, you're in good shape because typically if you're not seeing it coming off the wicks, it's not happening inside the candle. Although there's always going to be I have to show you this too. I had done, and I'm going to talk about with each candle brand, a six hour burn test. Now I know that's too long, but some of us just burn a candle without the timer. Um, there's one brand I didn't even try that with, but this one, Bath and Body Works and Kringle, I did. And this candle was completely white before I did that six hour burn. And as you can see, which was from my fault of burning it too long, this started going into the wax of this candle. So, um, you know, now it's all dirty and murky, but that was my fault. But I would just, I know that I can still burn a lot of my Goose Creek candles for a little bit longer than that three to four hour mark. And I've never had this happen, but I know, and again, this is something on the, I don't like, but it's never happened to me. I've heard so many of you and so many in the comments and so many other reviewers say that their candles give them a kerosene smell. I've never smelled that on my candle. I don't know if those are candles that have sat for a while, candles with certain scent notes. I am not sure, but um, I just have never had to worry about the Wixies keep burning and they don't dud out on me when I've burnt them for a little bit longer. But as you can see, the wax did get pretty dirty, but again, I burnt this too long. So that was just for me to be able to say, there is a candle brand that you can burn longer than the three hours and you don't have to babysit it, but it is not Goose Creek. The final thing I want to say is that I really love their wax melts. Now, I have not ever tried. I know Beth and Body Works for a short time had them. I don't think Homeworks has them, and I haven't tried Kringles, but this is one of the products that keeps me coming back to Goose Creek because this is probably the next best wax to Scentsy, in my opinion. Now, I heard really good things about Kringle wax, but this wax for me now, I do not melt wax all day. I do about six hours. I get home between four o'clock and I go to bed around nine o'clock. So that is my day for, for wax melting. 
Now it does get a completely even pool in that time, but that is not a 24 hour like melt. I know I could leave them on. I just turn them off. I have some wallflowers and then I'm always doing a candle review somewhere. So um, these things are kind of strategically placed throughout the house so that they're not like overpowering each other. But I really enjoy their wax. I get a full two days out of this wax. Um, I love to melt this wax with other scents. It's very fun. And I got these for like $2. So you get six cubes or triangles or pizzas, whatever you want to say, for, for like $2. That's a pretty good deal. Also, they do have a rewards program for us. It's 1500 points equals $15 off your order. I think that's pretty good. That means you can get anything. There's not a limitation on what you get. It just comes off your total. So that is pretty much it, except for I wanted to share one more candle. This was a very good burner as well as this. So some candles, like I said, I'm at about a 50-50 with, with Goose Creek, sorry. And this is banana pudding. Now I know some of you said this smelled like plastic, but for me, I burnt one completely. This is my new one. This smells like authentic banana. It really smells good to me. Um, I'm missing like an animal cracker note or a wafer note. I, I feel like I see it in the picture, so I wanna smell it in the candle, but this is truly just like banana with banana pudding and I really enjoy it. So those are most of my thoughts. Like I said, I really wish they would take some feedback from their, um, their customers because if you, if you tell them about some products and then they go back to the drawing board, like I want to talk about another brand next does, they can make their product better and then they could stay in the running for, you know, being a popular candle brand. Right now they're very much losing their popularity because there's a disconnect between them listening to their customers and their, them making their product better. Because I really do feel like whether it be different wicks, different wax blend, um, using all colored wax because that seems to be the less sooty less fragrance oil there's a lot that they could do on their end to work on this soot problem and if they continue to not seem to listen then people are just going to lose interest because again this is our house so i don't want a cheaper candle where i got to repaint clean air ducts you know do all the things so um those are all my thoughts on goose creek that's the good the bad and the city let's move on to kringle so kringle i have a couple candles here for you um i want to share with you my this was my um, gateway candle the root beer donut i have burned through two or three of these now this is such a fun conceptual candle because there is no such thing as a root beer donut, but this smells so authentic to root beer. It just smells like someone just scooped some vanilla ice cream and poured a root beer and you're seeing that huge amount of foam on the top. You almost can hear it in here when you are <laughs> smelling this candle. It's so amazing. But again, what is a root beer donut? I just love that they came up with this. They've come up with some very interesting things, AKA the reserve line that's coming out with cannabis or whatever. Um, so what have I burned through? What can I share with you? So again, I have shared that I kind of had wrote off Kringle as a brand. I had tried these the donut candles and some middle size country jars. My middle size country jars, again, new burner, just did my thing, but they were murky. They got really gross. Um, there was so much soot and I didn't get a huge amount of scent. So, um, let me grab another thing. I'm back. Okay. So that was my experience with the middle size jars, but I've been hearing so many good things. I've been hearing some of the things I want to share with you today. So this is what I like. I heard that the CEO has really been taking candle reviewers and customers reviews seriously, going back to the drawing board and changing the formula, changing the style, changing things. Um, I know some things are out of his control, like supply chain issues, you know, demand, yada, yada. We want some candles in soy that are paraffin, some candles in paraffin that are soy. That kind of stuff can't be changed overnight. But he's actually taking feedback from people that really know what they're talking about and making changes to the brand. That is why I went back to buy Kringle. Um, the soy wax is so clean, you guys. This is the candle that I burned for six hours. I know you're not supposed to, but I was timed. I was within the area. I was watching constantly and I burned this candle for six hours. This is Marshmallow Morning, one of the new cereal candles. I'm going to have a full review of these new Kringle candles I've tried, so I'm not going to get too far into a review of this candle, but it smells amazing. It doesn't smell like Lucky Charms to me, but it definitely smells like marshmallow gourmand and with nutmeg and praline and so it just it smells like a fancy marshmallow but i don't smell like the lucky charms aspect so um but this is the cleanest candle i've ever burned it reminds me of alta's soy 
candles. Those burn clean and those can burn forever. This can burn forever. You just get the littlest bit of wax pool because it's not like burning hot and vicious. I have no soot, anything, and I burnt this candle for over six hours. Remember when you saw the Goose Creek candle? Well, you're gonna see another one that got even grosser from Bath & Body. This soy formula burns so clean, but I'll get into more of that on my review. I've also been pretty impressed so far. I've tried two of the paraffin. Um, this one is the gray candle. It smells like a, you know, fancy man. And as you can see, I'm getting just the slightest bit of discoloration, not like those medium sized jars. Those looked like brown and black and gross when it was like a pretty pink cotton candy clouds candle. Um, as you can see, there's very little to no soot at the top. And I've burnt this for probably six hours as well. I was just really pushing my candles so that I could talk about them. I know that's not the smartest thing. That's not the way I normally burn. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that this really stayed clean and it's like 150 hours. So I really committed with these large jars. I did burn another one. I did not burn this one for six hours. This is blueberry lemonade and I'm only to here. But again, as you can see, it's just a slight discoloration. It's not the full on grody. I'm okay with that. Now, again, I want to reference people when I do know where I got it from. I have been watching uh, a lot of reviewers. Some of them are ambassadors so that I can get the best experience on the candles I purchased with my money. And Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, I'm mentioning her again, I think, um, she said to wipe the wicks gently with like a wet paper towel. I've been doing that. And as you can see, I'm getting no grodiness at all. There's just the tiniest bit of soot right there. That's like it. And that, like I said, I've been burning these candles for a very long time. But this one, I have not even done that with. I have not done anything except for trim off those little toppers just because I don't want them floating in the wax. Um, and I've done that with these as well, just trimming off the very tip top so that's not floating in the wax. Um, these are doing really well. They're a huge commitment though to a candle if you like to go through your candles quickly. That's not a bad thing. This, these are like 150 hours burnt. I don't, I believe it. I've been burning these for a week solid. Look how far I am. Um, you know, in like a rotation, but both of these and this one's just a little bit further down. I'm like, wow. So, um, yeah, like I said, this, the soy wax is so clean. I think that ambassador program is a great opportunity and, um, I can't find anything as unique on the other sites as like root beer donut or cannabis. So their scent blends are super, super unique. What I don't like, this is probably nitpicky and I'm sorry if this is like silly to you. I'm sorry, but I don't like shipping protection. I don't understand why I need to do that when I'm ordering from your site, why you're not guaranteeing me the package and I got to pay another few dollars, which is basically that discount code, right? To get my package. Didn't love that. I was like, ew, it's nitpicky, but it's still, that was not my favorite. Um, and then the paraffin blend is not my favorite, although this experience was much better than the last one. I don't feel like I need to babysit these. I'm getting a scent throw. This candle company um, really seems to pick up as it goes. So I would say my first burn of all of these, except for Root Beer Donut, was kind of on the weak side, not on the throw side, but as it got going, second burn, third burn, I could smell this further and further and further away from the candle. Even, even to why it's like blending into other rooms, which I'm happy about. But the first burn I was like, which again, I don't think we should judge anything by the first anything, but this one too, it's a marshmallow scent. It's a vanilla scent. I didn't expect this to throw through my whole house, but the first burn I had to smell it over the top here. And I was like, okay, I expect that. Then the second burn, it was kind of filling the kitchen space, which is where I burnt it. And then by the third and fourth burn, I think I'm on my fourth burn. Um, this was within lighting it, it was giving a nice projection and throw. Again, it's a marshmallow scent. This is not going to clean my air or anything like that, but it was nice and pleasant, but you have to give it a little bit of time. So that's just kind of more of like an informative fact. That's not a like or a dislike, but, um, yeah, I do prefer this soy blend. So like some of those candles that just came out, I'm going to be looking to get some more of these because this is worth the price. You get a longer burn, a super clean burn, and the scents are pretty unique. Um, but... This makes me happy because some scents are only offered in the paraffin. And so far, again, 
I would have already said that in my medium jar experience, and that was over a year ago, maybe before some of the feedback, that I already saw the grossness at this point in the burn. That's why I feel like I can speak to it. I have to keep going, but I'm actually happy that these are performing better. One more thing I do want to share, which I'll share in my full review. I picked this up and I expected this to be a waste of my money. No, this is such a good way to try a variety of scents from the brand. I... I'm telling you, I was able to smell dragon fruit lemonade all through my kitchen. I was able to smell this blueberry cream pop all through my kitchen. And these are just a little daylights. I just wanted to try a variety of scents so that I knew next time when I was going online what I'd be looking for. There's still some in here I didn't love, but that'll be in my full review. I like the daylights in a bundle for a good price so that you can try a variety of scents. It's kind of why I buy like wax melts. They're a little bit less expensive. So I can try the scents and see what I like before committing to a $20 candle. But I do think these are worth the money. Um, so yeah, I think that's it for Kringle. I'm gonna clean this up and I'll bring you the other brand. All right, let's jump into Homeworks and Scentworks. I'm bundling them together, um, although I've purchased them separately and from different places, but we'll get into that. So I wanna show you what I love. This is the candle that made me fall in love with Scentworks. This is Toasted Pumpkin S'mores. This is so good. I had to run and grab these candles, so I don't want breath. Um, this is Pumpkin Puree, Fluffy Marshmallow, White Chocolate, and um, Toasted Graham. This is so amazing. I've burned through like three of these. This one came from Kohl's. As you can see, it's a little beat up, but once we burn that, that'll be just fine. Um, what do I love about this? This was an unexpected love. I had just, I had some Kohl's cash, and I ran in, and I saw these, and I was like, they were at a good price, grabbed them. This burnt so clean. This burnt so beautifully. This projected so well. I don't hear enough people talking about these. Now, maybe I just grabbed a couple of really good scents. I grabbed this one and the peppermint one. Those kind of sound like they would be really good. I haven't tried anything else. Again, I'm really new to this brand, but this overall was um, like love at first sniff. Like I really enjoyed this brand. I didn't, I maybe just grabbed a really good one, but this burnt clean, good. What I will say was it burnt quick. I could burn through this way quicker than I could burn through a Bath and Body Works candle. And I think they're about the same size. Um, and this is a two wick, not a three. Let me make sure. No, this is a three wick, not a two wick, sorry. This is a three wick, so, um, but I think they're about the same size. Yeah, 14.5, so it says about 40 hours of burn time. This was going down significantly each burn. Like, I was like, wow, I was so shocked at that because it just looks so big, but it's basically the same size as a Bath & Body Works three wick. Now, what have I tried from um, the homework brand. Let me share with you. I have burned through a little bit of my pink lemon shortbread. Let me show you. And again, I didn't cut the wicks from the last burn. Um, but as you can see, that is burning super clean. And there's, there's my wicks. They're doing pretty good. Um, with these, I do trim the top off very carefully. I have not done any of that wiping. So as you can see, it's burning clean. But these I basically sit with a timer to burn for three hours only because um, the very first time I lit this one, peanut butter waffle cone, as you can see, burned super clean. These have just been, they've been huge. The tops of the uh, the mushrooms on these, huge. And so, um, you know, one, I don't think it's traveling. I think it's just a little bit over, but I'm watching that guy because they seem to curl. Um, you know, they're so heavy, that mushroom top, and you can see these wicks are so thin, but the scent on this. I like it, but again, I like peanuts. It's I'm not getting all the things that are in this candle, but there's a full review. I'm not reviewing the candles. I'm just sharing a few of mine with you. And here's the last one. Sorry. And the last one I have to share with you is White Sangria. This is a Homeworks three candle. Yeah. So I have a Scentworks three wick, a Homeworks three wick, and two four wicks to share with you. And as you can see, that is also burning super clean. So like Kringle Soy, I feel like Homeworks and Scentworks have that clean burn down to a science. I personally, even though I'm new, haven't seen any sooting, anything dirty in the wax, anything dirty with the wicks. I've just been taking care of the wicks, watching the time I burn them. I did not feel like I had to watch the time on this as much. These all come with a nice dark colored wax too, so I never noticed anything sooty about it, but again, it wasn't white. But here is this uh, white sangria, white, and that wax is still just as white. So these burn super clean, similar to the Kringle Soy, 
And like I said, the first candle brand I'd ever tried that was that clean was the Alta Soy. So what else do I like about Homeworks? Um, their shipping and packing packaging is amazing. There's no, I mean, there's no, there's a way, of course, it, things happen, but they really take the time. They, you can tell when you open your box of candles. I've had three orders now. Super good care. Nothing that's on sale or whatever seems to be just thrown in the box. So the people have it together in the shipping and packing department. I have to give it to them. Um, you know, if they're just charging you two bucks for shipping, you're still getting all the container, all the compartments. So your order is going to arrive most likely fully intact. I bet that their uh, returns or damage is far lower than other brands because some just send it like wrapped in a little bit of cellophane. Some send it in a candle crate, which I like. Um, you know, I've gotten a couple Bath and Body Works candles just wrapped in a little bit of bubble wrap. Whatever, thrown in a box. They broke. Spoiler alert. I'm just like, you know, they really have that. That's something that stands out about this brand. Um, I think it's fair to say that their scent notes that they use are quite unique. Harry, um, arguably started the candle business in, in the capacity that we use it today. Um, Bath and Body Works candles would have never been so popular without Slatkin and Co. I can say that. Um, anything that he touches seems to turn like QVC. I didn't remember hearing much about QVC before his candles got there. Again, I don't shop that kind of stuff, but, um, he probably even has some type of backstory to inspire some of the other candle brands. I don't want to say like Kringle specifically, but he definitely started this love of home fragrance for so many people. So his scent blends are very unique. I do stick to the gourmand scents, but I've read through some of the other scent stories and I'm like, wow, that's so unique that he put that together. I really like that he puts fruit and floral and floral and fruit. Like that's just almost like something I feel like would be a part of my brand. I'm not going to have a candle brand, but you know what I'm saying? Um, and then Wix, um, the Wix in here were self-trimming, which I really enjoyed. They stayed this long the entire time. Um, but I will say one of the things I don't love is the, the babysitting, the care that you must take to get your, these candles to stay good. I feel like I'm doing a really good job, but there was a couple times I was like, they're really bending over. I got to put this candle out. It hasn't even been three hours yet. But I really enjoy the scents that I chose too. So sometimes I'm just enjoying a scent. I don't want to put it out. But I would basically just let it re-solidify and light it back up after I took care of the wicks. Um, not a huge deal, but not something that I love. Is that these wicks are fragile. Very fragile. Okay. Things that I don't like. Um, the scent throw has been lighter than expected. Uh, these, I just felt like, I don't know, again, if it's my eyes. Um, you should see the size of plate I fix myself when I'm hungry. My eyes. But um, they, they are picking up over time, more so even than Kringle. Kringle has been a slower um, incline. These seem to like really pick up over time, if that makes sense. Like from first burn to fourth burn, it almost seems like a different candle. I'm like, did I? It's the same candle. Okay. The, the strength picks up over time. But again, with that three hour burn mark that you have to hit, it's almost like it's just getting started when you got to put it out. I don't love that. But again, it might be the sense I've chosen. It might not be the way that everyone's experienced candles. I'm very new to the brand. I guess just to be fair, the only other thing that I don't like so far, and this is the newest brand to me. And again, this is the brand that I would say so far I've had to provide the most care. I don't want to use the term babysit, but provide the most care to these candles to keep them good. Um, but I've had so much help from all of you in the comments. But the only other thing is they have the shipping protection too. Now, I understand the company doesn't want to be liable, but that just really throws me when it's like, why am I not going to get these candles? Why is there a possibility that I need a third party company to come in and protect this like insurance? You know, like I know I'm understanding we have car insurance, but I just, I'm like, why do I have to have candle insurance? I don't love that. So that's a small thing, but it's still something that I wanted to know. Now let me grab my other stuff and we'll wrap up this. All thing. right, you guys, we have moved to the fourth and final uh, company. This is Bath and Body Works. So I have some of my favorites here to share with you. I have a pink watermelon candle. This scent is so good. This is a powerhouse fruity scent. This smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. I have ice dragon fruit tea. I felt like this candle was quite unique for the last year or so that came out. And then I also wanted to talk about champagne margarita. This was kind of a candle that rehooked me into Bath and Body Works. I had taken a little break during the beginning of the pandemic and um, frosted Moscow Mule at candle day where it just reminded me of how much I love candles and how much I want to talk about them. So 
ultimately that could be one of the candles that started this channel <laughs> in a weird way because I had collected before, moved, my candles got broken in the move and melted. It was really sad. And then I went to Candle Day 2020 and I was just like, I'm back in, I'm back in baby. So I pulled Champagne Margarita because this is the newest version of it. So, um, but I also wanted to pull some White Barn and some Bath and Body Works. So we had some stuff to talk about. So what are the things I like about Bath and Body Works? Um, I, some of my favorite candles of all time have come from Bath and Body Works. I've shared this with you in multiple videos. Um, you know, I love talking about them. This is a, this is the candle brand that got me into candles. So I feel like you're always going to cheer for that team, right? Like you're always, even if you move, I'm still a Cubs fan. Even though I live in Kentucky, I'm still a Cubs fan because I'm from, you know, the Chicago area. So, um, another thing I have to say that is different than the other candle companies is Bath and Body Works has a 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. Now I know that policy has been abused and we've talked about that in many forms and fashions, but um, they want their customers to be satisfied. So they have exchanged candles that have been completely burned, um, you know, old candles, like yada yada. That's on you and your heart. I don't do that stuff, but again, there's no judgment here. Cause again, I'm, you're not going to get me to do it, but you do you. That's a real good example of you do you, but their policy is because they know that they make the profit to absorb some of that deception, I guess you would say, but also to ensure that customers are being like taken care of, satisfied, depending on what store, is it online, is it in-store, they want their customers to be happy. Um, here's the candle that I did for six hours. This one is the most, this is what happened when I burned my candle for six hours. Now I know it's not what it says to do. I understand that, but I'm just showing you that like, if that's something that you love to do is burn candles for a little bit longer, this is the candle brand to go with for sure. So this is what happened. And I'm just being transparent. When I burned my Bath and Body Works candle for six hours continuously, I was watching it. It was right with me. Um, but basically the wicks just kind of started to seep into the wax and it still smells amazing. It didn't change the scent, but it does look ugly now. And that was on me. Um, so the rewards program is amazing. It's very fun to participate in. However, it should be offered to everyone. I like that the other brands like Kringle, their reward, I don't think they have a rewards company, but like Homer's has rewards, Goose Creek has rewards. They're, they're available for everyone. I do not understand and I do not like that Bath and Body Works has that in selected areas years later. And some areas are in 1650 while other areas are in 1450. I don't love that at all. Some people haven't even yet to be able to get rewards, although there is a way around it. There's videos out there, go find them. But I do love the rewards program. I came from the Chicago area. I remember when I signed up for the rewards program, there was actually people with like clipboards that were like filling them in for you. You didn't even, then you went online and got your app, but that they started you that way. Like so that you could just go up to the store and to the cashier wrap and start your rewards program that day. Um, they're the most accessible. Their brick and mortar stores are everywhere. They have outlet stores to shop like the deals. Um, they, they started it all with candle day. I will always give them credit for that. Um, so I know that every company is kind of jumping on that, but that was our Friday, Black Friday shopping. Our Christmas day was candle day. And again, I've been shopping that sale for years. Um, what I don't like is that more and more lately, I have been hearing about inconsistent batches, inconsistent batches. And so when I'm saying a candle is like super strong, doing its thing, and you go in store and you're like, I can't smell anything. That's just really hard on me. Um, I don't understand how, I understand they're made in different factories, but I don't understand why your product wouldn't be the same across the board. Now, I do agree with a lot of the reviewers that say you have to make sure that you're like caring for your home as well as your candles. Again, this was not about the body works. This was on me. I did that. I was just trying to see what you could get out of six hours. But if you are like cleansing your air, opening a window cleanses your air, guys. You don't have to do all that. Like you don't have to do everything. But um, then you might not be getting the full experience. That's for you. That's not necessarily like I don't care. But I'm just saying like that's going to help you. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying there is a, in, there is something to inconsistent batches because again, something that I smell that's like a 12, you should definitely be able to smell and it shouldn't be scentless wax. That's just the way it is. So, um, there's lots of free packages with this brand, but they've been around the longest. So I don't know if that's just a bad wrap, 
but it's hard to get unique scents. Um, you know, the someone, some of my favorites are the unique scents. Some of my favorites haven't come out for years. So they're not even like popular enough to get the repackaging over and over and over. Um, which I would prefer, but again, this is, that's just me. That's not necessarily on the brand. Um, my last thing, this is just so strange to me. And it's the last thing I'm going to speak on. Um, you know, overall, my Bath & Butters candles perform well. They have some that soot, they have some that dud out. That's just my experience. But overall, I'm pretty happy with my Bath & Body Works candles. But the coupons, can we just take a second to talk about the coupons? Why would you as a brand not over send out coupons? Like I'm not, I'm not here for any of the things I've heard. Like um, they don't do it anymore because it's like cross touching. You're gonna give me my receipt. You're gonna touch my bag. Go ahead and touch that coupon and stick it in my bag. Like. They should have more, not less. Like that's what brought us in at the beginning was that every time you used a coupon, you got a coupon. Um, you know, I remember back in the day when you could um, price match and people would go with their binders and some cashiers, I worked at Walmart for a long time. They would act like it was coming out of their own paycheck. That's what I feel like these coupons seem like. Like it's actually coming out of my pay to give you a coupon. No, a coupon brings you in store. Um, a coupon makes you buy more things. I always buy more things when I have a 25 or 20% 20 off coupon than when I have nothing. Always, every time, every day. So the coupon abundance thing it should be where we're like finding them in the street and we're talking about littering. You know what I mean? No, that's weird. But I'm just saying like, you should get one in every order. It should be just right on the receipt. How about that? Just print it on my receipt. Then you're not double touching anything. I just, again, I'm not, I understand that concept. I understand why, but like every order online should have one that kind of helps with that shipping cost. Like I don't have a problem with them raising the shipping because the shipping cost has gone up. But overall, just the reason you're not giving out coupons is like, you know, I don't understand. There's no reason, truly. There's nothing you could say to me as to why you wouldn't give everyone equal opportunity to have those sales, those deals. Um, yeah, coupons drive your sales up. They don't They don't take away from your profit. So that one's just a strange one to me. I, I feel like I get coupons less and less. People have to give me coupon codes. I'm relying on other people. That's just silly. Again, the places I go to the most are the places that give me the most. Like, Oh, okay. You're going to give me a reward and a coupon. Uh, I will be back and I have been back. So for me, I just think that's a silly thing. But overall, the good, the bad, the ugly, the good, the bad, the sooty, I mean, is that every brand has issues. Every brand has your heart in the favorites category and why you go back. And then there's candle companies that frustrate you. And that's why you stop purchasing from them. And we all have to do what makes us happy. Again, just because of my experiences doesn't mean that's the experience you're going to have, unfortunately. Um, but this is just my list of things that I came up with to say there's good, there's bad, and there's sooty with almost every brand, except for the soy formula from uh, Kringle. This is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. Um, I have to say that that definitely took me by surprise. And it's been a little while since I've been super surprised by a brand. So I hope this was helpful. I know this was rambly. I know that you all appreciate my rambling because I apologize for it and uh, make you feel awkward like you have to tell me not to. But please add to this conversation down below. What is the good, the bad, and the sooty of the brands that you love? I didn't get them all. These were just the most popular to me. We could do a round two at some point. Um, I'm going to just keep going through these candles, but I would just absolutely love to know your thoughts down below. This was a long video, so if you have watched to this point, put uh marshmallow morning in the comments if you don't want to make a comment but you can comment whatever you want you guys and thank you so much I think I have a Bath and Body Works haul today too so um thanks and I will see you in a video probably tomorrow bye guys mm -hmm.